glad that you are getting back into this tutorial. And I know it has been a while since we had our, our last tutorial on module uh, three. Yeah, and I, I believe that it has been very useful to you. You are able to follow along. Today, um, I want to, conf to confirm that, uh, you know, you know, since we started these classes, we have really received um, a number of, you know, good feedback, comments on the tutorial because I, we do it um, at the level where you don't need to have advanced skills. You know, we started from zero and I believe that no one else cannot do networking if the process is made possible and, you know, easy for them to follow along. So the, ma the main reason why we are doing these classes in Microtik is to allow you as a network engineer to add a value in your network expertise by being, uh, you know, acquainted with Microtik uh, routers and Microtik, um, you know, devices. Um, in module one, we did a lot. We described the Microtik. We look into how Microtik looks like and the interfaces, the physical things, uh, parts. And then we got into module two and module three. I'll encourage that now, if you are the first, this is your first time into this channel, please uh, just subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if not your first time and you've not subscribed, please do so. And always remember to refer to previous modules so that you can be um, able to follow along with this tutorial. Um, today we are going to look at a very interesting part of um, this tutorial in uh, Microtik. And um, today our focus is on router OS. I know maybe you are, you are wondering why we are in module 5 and we have not done module 4. Don't you worry. Module 4 is coming up very soon and we are going to look at, uh, you know, uh, IP addressing in to details. Like before you start any networking, you need to have some knowledge on IP management, be it IP version 4 or IP version 6, which we will do into details. So don't we worry. And again, module five on router uh, OS firmware management is independent. It does not really uh, require you to have some knowledge on uh, routing protocols or any other things. It's just to make sure yeah, that your environment that you are going to work on is properly set. So today we are going to look at router OS firmware management. Um, I've been in a scenario where you try to, you know, uh, upload some services or to apply some services or applications on your router, Microtech router, and some things fail. Like there's some certificate that can just, you know, fail to install because of the firmware issues. At times, maybe you happen to upgrade it or set your router to auto uh, upgrade. And um, that upgrade probably has affected some of your services. So you would want to either degrade or sometimes maintain the OS or uh, at times upgrade. So today we are going to look at how we can either downgrade, upgrade or maintain the software. It's not a, a very huge tutorial, but um, it is something that I would want us to be very keen on and understand. I want us to understand the terms. What is a firmware? Uh, you know, if you talk about a firmware, this is a software that provides basic machine instructions that allow that hardware to function and communicate with other software running on that device. So if there is no firmware on your uh, computer or your router or your, you know, any digital device, then I don't think that device will be able to work or operate because the firmware gives it its functionalities. And for us to know the firmware, we'll look at it, um, you know, practically see how we can find it. But I please note that we are going to use um, Winbox tool to access or to um, do the tutorial. Now, if you want to go to, uh, let's say, um, router board, what do you need to look at? Just go to systems on your router. Once you've logged in and go to router board, you'll see uh, the firmware. And ladies and gentlemen, because we are advancing in this course, I'm going to start introducing 
uh, terminal uh, slowly by slowly so that you can also be handy with the terminal operation or the command of the micro tick because sometimes you could be able you can't be able to access you know uh, micro tick remotely using winbox but again you can use ssh and that will only give you um, an opportunity to use uh, uh, you know the terminal or the console to operate your rotor. So in this case, we are also going to do some basic rotor um, commands. So allow us, you know, uh, start engaging with the CLI of the rotor. So uh, Microtech comes with packages that at times defines uh, additional sets of uh, software um, uh, applications that give the rotor its functionality. For example, we can have uh, hotspot uh, packages. Some rotors might have wireless packages. Some might not have. We might have GPS packages, LoRa packages. Uh, packages. We'll look at them. But for you to see your packages, just go to, you will go to system and then scroll down to packages and you'll see that list. I'm just going through this so that we'll, we now go back to our um, practical. And then, Assuming that we have seen what we have and, um, you know, we've noted that this is the firmware, we don't want to use that firmware or we want to upgrade or downgrade, uh, what do we need to do? The first thing you need to check is the architecture. I think if you have been following the previous um, uh, tutorials, you now understand what an architecture means. And if not, please, I would advise that you go back to tutorial two and learn more about the you know model architecture and the physical logical interfaces then we have to understand the current factory firmware version of your rotor when you buy a rotor it comes with a factory firmware version and just to be sure and let you know that you cannot downgrade your router beyond the firmware the, the firmware uh, factory firmware version so please note that version even uh, if you want to upgrade, let's say to version seven, if your rotor board is having a factory firmware of six point, let's say seven point something, you cannot go below that. So that is something that we need to put into consideration and we'll see uh, that in practically how that it applies. And then we have, um, we ha need to check the current router deployment state. Um, this is just, you know, to make sure that you are not dealing or working on a live network. A live network is a network where, you know, you have active users consuming your services or the router is providing services, and you would not want to disrupt users from their services because you've just done an upgrade. Remember, an upgrade will always require you to um, power circle your device or, you know, reboot your device, and that will automatically disconnect everyone from the internet downgrading or upgrading your software um, there are things that you also need to consider remember when upgrades happen maybe there are some security breaches that have been realized or noticed uh, on the lower versions that have been maybe improved so there could be some security patches on the new one or improvements that have been uh, you know uh, made but again i would advise that you don't upgrade to the latest firmware because it's still on production. It is not yet, you know, uh, stable enough to be used. And probably it has some bugs uh, here and there. So it would always be at the lower version um, of the, you know, at least at the lower version. And for us to know all the, um, to see all this, the resource and everything on the router, just go to your system and then go to resources. On terminals, you go to system, resources, and then you print that and you see the records. So the methods that we are going to use here, one, we are just going to use Winbox tool. Of course, there are an options or there are options of using a net install uh, tool, or you can also use terminal or web config, anything, any access method that you prefer, and you can always refer back to uh, the other tutorials around how to access MicroTiki uh, Router OS interface that I did. Now, when we want to downgrade, majorly the, the big issue here is downgrading, leave alone even upgrading because you can set it to automatic and it will uh, auto, auto upgrade. 
but now when we talk about no, no downgrading, sorry. So um, for you to downgrade, we'll go to Microtech and learn its, you know, uh, firmware architecture. We will learn uh, the current firmware version, and then we'll go to Microtech, um, Microtech um, website and go to downloads and download. I'll do that practically, and we'll see. And then we'll um, upload this to Microtech uh, root directory. Issue a command either on terminal or just going through the you know the UI interface and clicking on our downgrade. And then later on, we'll pass our core device. Um, and for you to upgrade, you just go to Rota and enable auto um, upgrade. And sometimes you, if you after downgrading, you realize that it tells you the current and the latest version that, that exists. So you could always click on upgrade version and then it upgrades automatically. That is not a big issue. So allow me now do this practically so that we can see what we are talking about. Going into Microtech. Right, so we are here. I'm using Microtech um, uh, Winbox tool to access the router that I have. As I'd said earlier, I'm using Routerboard 951 UI to HND. Uh, which is currently, if you look at the version, just even before we get in, uh, if you uh, look at the versions, currently it is 6.48.6. I remember Microtech just released version 7. So we could actually go to version 7 and then come back to version 6.486. All right, let me log in just by clicking on the MAC address and then inputting my password. I'll be able to log in. All right, so that is my interface now. I'm on uh, Microtech uh, router board interf um, router OS interface. And please, um, I'd want us now to go step by step and see exactly what I was talking about, remember? So now for us to first of all know what we are running on, please let us go to system. Under systems, go directly to router board. Router board. Router board here will give you the model of the router that you are running. So, for example, now we are running a 951UI2HND router board model, which is on um, revision 3, meaning you know, the router board itself is on version 3. And you know, if you want to know serial numbers, then you can do, you know, look at the serial number. Um, then the firmware type is AR9344. And then uh, looking at the, 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 the last three parts, we see we have the factory firmware, we have the current firmware, and we have the upgrade firmware. So ladies and gentlemen, I want us to be very keen here. The factory firmware is the firmware win, uh, that this router came with when I bought it, that was the firmware, and that is the firmware that I was saying you cannot downgrade below. So, if you want to go to let's say five point something or six point two something going back, you won't be able to go through. But now, the current firmware is the firmware that you are currently running, it could be you know the upper firmwares or the lower firmwares. But now, it will tell you that there is a new firmware that you'd want to upgrade to. And that is there. Um, uh, for example, this is 6.48. Of course, if I just tell it to open out of um, uh, upgrade, it will tell me the current, current, which is seven. Yeah, so that is how we could know uh, that the current firmware, so you don't have to go and download several firmwares that are below the, current, the factory firmware and you end up you know, being frustrated. Why is this thing not going through? You try and you try and you try, uh, but the only thing that maybe you didn't consider the factory firmware. The other thing that I'd want us to check before we start downgrading or upgrading is to go to resources. So when you are on the resources, um, resources will be able to give you a number of uh, a number of things. 
Uh, one of them being knowing when the Yaruta was, how many hours it has been uptime, up running, the memory that you are having and the one that is remaining, CPU calls, you know, what CPU are you running, the number of uh, CPUs. Of course, you have a lot of things that you can check. But for us now, our focus is not on those ones. Our focus is on the architecture. So if you look at the architecture of this router is on MIPSBE. Please note that because that is what is going to guide us when you are, you know, picking or downloading the um, the firmware that we are going to install. So not any firmware would work. Remember, we are going to work with MIPSBE firmware. What do we need to do? Uh, let us go to system. And once you are on system, the other thing that you do want to see is, uh, I think we've looked at the resources and we've seen other things. So let us look at the packages. Um, the packages will actually tell you the current, um, you know, firmware and the current packages that you're running and different functionalities. For example, um, I could be having, I could be having, let's say, um, advanced uh, packages like, you know, the, this advanced package here, uh, tools, you know, these packages just give MicroTix additional functionalities. And uh, you can always, you know, choose to disable or to enable whenever you want, if you want to use them or not. There is no big deal. You can remove them, you can add them, but remember, you don't move, remove core, core packages. Of course, there are some routers which are not uh, wireless enabled, so there is no need you install a wireless root um, package on a CCR or a cloud core router, which is not supporting, uh, let's say, wireless. But the ones that are supporting wireless uh, module, please, those are things that you can't really remove. Routing packages are always there. PPP is always there. MPLS, of course, yeah, all that applies to you, you can always remove uh, or, you know, maintain. But what I want us to look at is the, um, uh, the upgrade or downgrade. If you look at the upper part, there is this part written downgrade. So how do we downgrade? For you to downgrade, you have to go and download a software that you'd want to downgrade to or a version that you'd want to downgrade to. So uh, I will share, uh, I'll, I'll show you how we download that on micro on, on the website. And then um, of course we will see how that looks like. All right, so this is uh, where we are. So if you go to microtech.com, you will see um, a software's part. So on the, on the software part, you click on software of course it will tell give you the current version uh root os version 7 that we are running and then we have version 6 and for you to see other versions then we'd want to go to what is called download archive it has up to i don't know version one and then um look at this we have stable version and you have better better is always on testing so if you want to do a test you go and pick better but i would recommend that we take a stable version and now remember our router was on 6.48 so we are going to look at how where and uh, again another thing that we are looking into is architecture so for us to see the architecture let's go to um system and down to router board no to resources yes and we'll see architecture is m i p s b e so then uh, after that we'll go to m p s b a so uh, we we need to look for that and um uh, you know so these packages we have rms we have m i p s b e so this is the package that we are looking at or we are looking for if at all you want to just upgrade or install your packages you can come and download main packages 
or with extra packages. Extra packages come with other um, set of packages inside. But now for us, our focus is to upgrade or downgrade. So we'll go to archive. Okay. So on archive, remember these are all the versions that exist uh, down to version uh, uh, hey, 6.45, down, down, down here. So I think ours is very down. If you are 6.8 and we are on, hey, this is too low. So, okay, fine. That is okay. But we want to go to at least 7. I want to upgrade and then downgrade so that we can see all this happening. So um, let's say we want to take 6, uh, maybe, uh, no, no, no. Okay, 7.1 for purpose of tutorial. So if we go to 7.1, what we are going to look at is that, you know, this side, um, the type of architecture. So our architecture is MIPSBE. And of course, you see there is a package for it and there is an NPK. So for you to upgrade the firmware, we are going to pick the MPK file. So we download that. So let me go and open the folder where that is. Right, so we have this. This is, um, I'll copy this, um, copy that to, uh, you know, my desktop and put it here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, rotor interface, go to files. See, this is the root folder. If you hear files, files, this is the root folder. Or the other way you can go to packages, system packages, go to packages. You can drop it there. So what we'll do, uh, we'll go to, uh, let me minimize this for purpose of visibility, then pick that OS and drop it here. So once you drop it, it will actually go to the root directory. Once it is on the root directory, we are going to either reboot or just tell it to upgrade, but we have to reboot anyway. So we give it some few minutes and then uh, it upgrades, uh, it uploads to the root directory and uh, always remember do not delete the root directory files because that is those are the packages that we are going to use all right this is uploaded so now you can know you can see the difference of course it is on the root directory here if you look at this it is there but if you look on the right side um it has not reflected actually so what do we do we go and tell the router to downgrade and the router will tell you to downgrade your router. You need the router needs to be rebooted. Let me say no. I would want to also introduce you to um, uh, you know terminal. So we'll go to terminal here and issue a command. Where is that command lying? So it is on the system, and you tap and you go to packages. Okay. So if you go to packages. And you ask what is on the packages is to either you downgrade, disable, enable, export, find, get, print, all those things. But for us now, we don't want to do all those things. We just do to downgrade. Uh, and for downgrade, I just write down and then tap your tab key and then enter. It will ask you, the router will be rebooted, continue. Then we just tap Y and it will be rebooted shortly. All right, thank you. I'm back now. The router has been rebooted and now we can look at the router OS and see what we have. We are risking even losing some good configurations that we've made, but all the way we are good to go. Let's see. So yeah, if you look at our router now, it is on router version 7.1. So 7.1 means that our router has upgraded. So let us see the current router uh, OS version that we are running. Let us go to uh, terminal. So on the terminal, just do system. And then when you are on system, you go to router uh, board. Uh, router board will tell us now uh, what is there and we'll be able to see. Oh, 
All right. So there is this version 6.48, which is the factory one, and the current one is 4.81. Of course, we have an upgrade that is telling us now to upgrade. So which thing do we need to do? We just give it a command to upgrade. So uh, let us go back and tell the router up to upgrade. So if we tell the router to upgrade, it will ask us, do you want to upgrade again? Yes. And the system will tell me, oh, the upgrade was successful. Please reboot. So we'll go to system and we do what is called reboot and then test have system reboot and then yep yes go on so it will tell us the system will be rebooted shortly and of course it has been rebooted and so let's see you see now um i've been this log i've been um you know logged out because the system is rebooting and probably in a few the system will be back and once the system is back um what you are going to see is you know uh a different version now we are going to run on version 7.1 which is okay 7.1 is a good version and then of course that one you can even see from the interface of the uh, you know uh the win box the current version and then later on we are going to download the current version so uh, you know uh, forget about this uh we are going to download the current version of course it has logged in and of course, I think we can see now the current, uh, you can look at it in different ways. Even on the top here, you see that Winbox is here and we are running version 7.1 on that router. But again, uh, you know, we need to use command. Just go direct to terminal and do system and router board. There are ways of you, uh, that you can, uh, you know, check on this and then you print. You can even check through router board, you can check through resources. But again, it's social. But now you can see here. It tells you that the firm, firmware, factory firmware is 6.48.6. Uh, .6, but the current firmware that we are running is 7.1. 7.1, that's amazing. Because, you know, it has all that, you know, the current firmware or all that. But there is something that you'd want to be very careful. Sometimes when you upgrade this firmware, there is a high chances that all the previous packages will be removed. So if you go back to your packages list, you'll probably just see the NPK file that you just downloaded. So let us see that. Uh, so you go to system and tell it that you just want to see packages. And uh, when, when, when you, you tell it to see packages, you, the packages that you will see, you see, we only have a router OS package, only one thing. So it means this router as it is now, things like hotspots, all those things will not work. The reason because we have removed all those packages that give this functionality. And I, this is something I can just test, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if I have connect, um, uh, so this, this, um, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Um, let's say 10.0.0.1 and I try to connect. You see, it is giving me all this, but try log out and you know, so it, it is telling me it is not found. So it is not there. Because the hotspot which used to, which had installed to manage that is not there. So um, what do we need to do? Let us go back here. And uh, first of all, let us go to um, Rota, uh, to, to Microtik. And then remember we are taking 7.1 um, MBP, MIBPs. So I'm going to take all the packages if you go to desktop, you will see all the packages. So what you need to do is to um, unzip. So once you unzip that, um, actually it will be on the desktop. Let me check where the folders are. Eh? So this is the folder. So what I'm going to do is to, let me pull it out here. So what I'm going to do on this is to see how what packages are there. So you can see we have the Calcare, GPS, IoT, AL, and Userman. So all these are things that are there. So what I'm going to do is to upload them onto 
my router. So I'll highlight all of them and bring up my, my router. And um, of course, uh, upload them. So I'll pick that and drop them inside here. And once it is uploaded, which is very easy, we just need to um, we just need to to reboot. Um, so let me just bring this inside here. All right. So if if I had to reboot, so it will be a, a very easy thing. Remember here now there is no packages. Even if you go to system system. And we go to packages, you see, we only have one thing. So we'll need to go to terminal again. Of course, you can do a reboot on, on the on the on the menu side by coming to system and then um there is a reboot and here reboot. But now that one is um okay, fine. You can do that. So um we go to system and we tell system to reboot. Uh how do we find that? go to because if you know there i don't think if this thing will really um support hotspot but again there is user man here probably it will but again um so that is how we can you know we downgraded but again we upgraded so we are going back to where we are so we'll install the le the lower version of 7.1 and then upgrade but now can we check also on the cli just go to system and tell system that you want to see packages and pop then it will tell you that those are the packages that we have simple as such now going back to where we are we were on six point something or so we'll have to go back there for my router uh, for purpose of learning i'll need to go back to that package so what i'll do i'll post a little bit and then download the current version and go back there um so um let me exit this and um uh, it's, it's a quit not even an exit all right so if i move out of that um ladies and gentlemen allow me now show you the last thing on how we can downgrade from 7.1 to 6.48 where we were previously archive uh, go to for six point something. If I go to the software, um, then download, and then I'll go to six point um, something here. So on six, uh, remember our our packages was were on the on the MP. So I'll just pick. Uh, that package but remember kindly this is 6.48 we need to also download a 6.48 rotor or x6 uh, so you can see it is 6.486 of course this one comes packed it comes plus with the packages so so i'll pick this and upload it to this guy here and you can see it is uploading very fast once it has done uploading uh, what we'll do is to go to uh, our command and tell it to downgrade and once it has downgraded we'll be good to go there's nothing much so once it is uploaded onto the router you will see a different um, uh, different version after upgrade, um, downgrade oh the upload is is okay now so you can see at the top of it there is 6.48.6 and remember once the upgrade has been done this thing is removed from the uh, from the directory so that we have some uh, some space so then I'll go to um, uh, system and uh, look at the um, packages so now you'll see our packages are 7.1 but again i'll tell it to downgrade now now let me just use here for for this one so i'll tell it to downgrade then it's to say yes come so yes because the router is going to be oh it will it will um reboot 
uh, or power circle. And then from there, once it has reconnected us back, it automatically it will connect us back when the, the reboot is done. And we'll have a rotor uh, with the new OS. And um, I'm glad to take more questions on the comment section uh, or the chat section and the uh, chat section below. So please just feel free to reach out, feel free to ask on, ask me to do a video or a tutorial on a specific topic that is of interest to you and you'd want to learn. And also you can feel free to reach out to me via the email address. And you can see now I have a new router OS version, which is um, uh, of course 6.48 where we were before. And now if I go to terminal and I, I run system and I tell system to show me packages. Um, it would be very nice to see that um, we have, uh, you know, all the packages available. And this is something amazing. And um, I think you've learned a lot. That brings me to the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much. And um, uh, please feel free to comment, to share this content with your friends and your uh, colleagues. For purpose of um, in-person training or consultancy, also feel free to reach out. I'll be able to assist and support where necessary.